What's up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we're doing another episode of My Morphin Collection. And as you can see here, we have the new, brand new Zords for um, the new Power Rangers movie. I don't know exactly what it's called, if it's just called Power Rangers movie, the Power Rangers, I don't know exactly what they're calling it. But these are the brand new Zord toys, so we're going to kind of be doing a, like a review type thing and showing how they all go together. Because I did not know this until looking at this T-Rex more clearly in the store. That if you buy each and every one of these, you then combine them all together and it makes a giant Zord. Which, by the way, it's really hard to film this because this is, um, Zord is super tall, so it's going to be like way up top here. And so I'll have to like move it and hold it weird for you to see it all and stuff because I couldn't get it to fit in this uh, camera any other way. Um, so we'll just start with these and I'll just kind of like show what each of them does and then um, we'll combine them all together and everything. So we'll just... We'll start with probably, oh, uh, maybe the pterodactyl first. I'm trying to figure out what to start with so we can adjust stuff. So, of course, here is the pterodactyl, which is the Pink Ranger Kimberly's uh, Zord. So here you can see what it looks like from the top. And now each one of these has a compartment that lifts up and has a Power Ranger in, on the inside. So you have this, as I drop her, you have this little figure here that you can see um, that's supposed to like represent the ranger and stuff so I'll sit her aside over there and so that's pretty much all there is um, to this it does do one thing so if back here on the tail if you pull this down it separates the like feet and so you can fly down which it's hard to see and um, the pterodactyl came with this um, putty I don't know what they called it putty soldier putty patroller I don't know exactly what they called but it's a putty from the old show <laughs> And so you could like fly down and pick it up and then carry it away and stuff. So for this sword, of course, we'll go ahead and just start do their whole transformations while we're at it. So for this, all you do is just pull the wings off. And so then we'll set the wings aside. And then you have the center part there that also does something. So there's that. Next up, we will go with the saber tooth tiger again because it's real simple and easy. So this is what it looks like. I think it looks really cool. It has this giant gun, which makes some noise. If you push it down, the guns move back and forth like that. And then that's really all there is to it. So I'll go ahead and pop the gun off just to show stuff. So I'll set the gun down to the side. And then, so here's what it looks like from the top. And then on the back here, there's a little compartment that opens. And inside is Trini, the Pink Ranger. So she... So there is what she looks like and stuff. So I'll set her aside too. And then for this, doing, um, going into Zord mode, all that you do is you push the head down and it rotates down into the bottom of the body like that. So it just kind of blends in there and that sticks up. And then the legs just spread apart like that. And that's all you, oh yeah, close that up. And then that's all you do with that. Next up, we will do the Triceratops. So this is, of course, the Blue Ranger of Billy. And so um, it doesn't really do much of anything except for its tail folds forward, and then it can shoot this missile out, which these missiles don't really shoot. You just have to, like, push on them like that. And um, so they, like, loosen up from this ball thing, and so that's how they fly out and stuff. So they don't really do much. Um, but that's all he really does. There's nothing really else. And then his compartment is right here on the top of his head. So you just flip it open and you have the Blue Ranger on the inside if I can get him out. Come on. There we go. And so there is the Blue Ranger of Billy. That's not cooperating at all. So there he is, as you can see him. Of course, we'll set him to the side. Um, now for the legs here, they kind of do a little bit more. So first you'll start off by taking the head off. I'll move the T-Rex back, he's a little big. Um, but move the tail off, pull the legs off. At least the front two. Um, which if you didn't notice, it has a total of three legs. So it has a back leg and then two front legs that are combined together. So it's got three legs all together. Which is kind of cool because in Power Rangers they are... They don't really say it, but they are numbered. And I'm kind of going in their order with Kimberly being, um, or Pink Ranger being first, Yellow Ranger second, 
Blue Ranger 3rd, Black Ranger 4th, and Red Ranger 5th and stuff. So you'll just pull those two legs off and then flip that up forward from the back. It's just the back part you fold forward. Fold these legs down. Take the tail up backwards. Then you'll just take the um, Triceratops head, put it on the front peg there. Take these double legs and they go at the top. I don't know if I'm putting them on the right way. Say so this goes on the front so it may help. I guess they don't really connect though. Um, but these just go on the back up here. Like I said, I don't really know which direction they need to go in or anything. I just know they go on there. So there is the um, one of the legs. I believe they make this one the um, left leg usually. So that's all there is to making um, that leg. So I'll set that aside. Then we'll go on to um, the uh, Mastodon, which to me looks more like a beetle, like a dung beetle <laughs> or something. Um, but I, th I think it still looks really cool. So like you have the weird head. So I think that's obviously supposed to be the um, trunk and then the tusk and everything. And so for this one, what it does is it has this thing on its back that kind of catapults. It's got this little like spider web type thing and it just kind of like catapults it. So, you know, like capture putties and stuff like that. And so that's all it really does. And then it's got its front compartment here with, of course, the Black Ranger on the inside of Zack. And it's hard to see with the light and everything, but there's him. And so um, for this, you'll just pull this thing off the top. Um, then you pull his head off again, front legs off. In, and then this like bottom chest plate type thing and then you'll fold the back out and up fold these legs down these legs do pop off like they just come right off so if you move it and they fall off that's fine come on. so then you just put the head back on the front here at the bottom take the legs and put them at the top this one you may cause a problem so we'll put this front plate on first now we'll try putting the legs on because I don't know if they really matter or not okay so finally got that one in now we'll put this one in hopefully the like leg things don't line up very well or something so then we'll put the plate on and then you can take the um, like catapult flipper and just attach it to the back here just as a place to get rid of it so then set that leg over there and of course it will be the right leg and then of course finally we have the T-Rex or the Tyrannosaurus which is the Red Ranger as you can see of Jason's so for him he has um, these guns on the side again that you just push um, like push on the back of them to fire so we'll just pop that back in and then it's got this giant gun on the front that doesn't really do anything but it does have a button you can push and it makes noises it's time for battle. and so it just kind of does that sort of stuff and then of course uh, Jason is hiding in the mouth up here so you just open uh, the mouth up and he's inside there and then so there is the Red Ranger of course so I'll set him aside so this one's um, the most difficult piece out of all. So you just take the gun off, pop these arms off and set them aside. And then you just pull the head out. Which these popping out things are kind of hard to do. The tail slides up. So you just kind of push up on it and it slides out of the slot there. And again, you set that aside. And then one of these legs is super hard to get out. So I'll have to do a cut to get it out and everything. Um, but it's kind of worn me because, like, I think it's this leg here. And, like, down on the place, it's, not, um, like, the leg here, the joint. It's starting to, like, whiten and stuff. So, like, too much pressure on it. So I got this, that leg off. There we go. We got that one off, too. That was pretty easy. So now you just have the body. And as you can kind of see, it's got, like, a chest plate there. And then if you flip it under, 
the helmet is inside hiding in the bottom so you'll just pull that out and then you can go ahead and just stick it right on top so we'll start with that and of course it's got pink on it making it look like the pink ranger so now we will go ahead and just start adding pieces to it we'll go ahead and start with the um, arms so you'll just take the legs there like this and you'll just reverse them inside out like that and as you can see it's got a little hand looking design there and then you just pop them into the holes here and again taking them out is pretty difficult along with getting them in there we go go ahead and just keep it straight for now do the same thing with this arm and pop it in like that so now you have um, the arms and we'll go ahead and fold them out just to keep them out of the way and then the head you'll just take and pop on the back here just to um, like keep it hidden and stuff these things are so hard to get in there we go so you'll just pop it on the back like that just for as I said to keep hidden then you'll bring up the saber tooth and this just sits right on top of it now it doesn't like do anything which kind of bothers me it just kind of like sits up there so as I said it really bothers me but to attach it there's these little pegs right here and then a hole inside the leg there and you just kind of put the peg into the hole like that and then it just sits on top of the body like that it's not very secure in it like if I pick it up and stuff it falls out a lot it's kind of weird how it has this like hole in the chest but it doesn't look too bad or anything so now we have the upper body of the Zord and then uh, we'll go ahead and put the legs on so the legs just slide in to this up here so we'll just of course start with um, the um, mastodon and slide it on and then that that piece always falls off of this leg. Both of them are on very secure. Like you try and push them down on more and they just like pop right back off. So they're not designed very well. So you just have to kind of like stick it on. So see, as you can see now, it is way too tall for the um, screen and stuff. So I have to bring it down off the table, down to where you can see. So it's up a lot closer. And the lights may not be too bright on it and stuff since it's off the screen. Um, but the final thing is. Um, the uh, pterodactyl wings so you then stick these on the back and there's kind of some different options you can do with these so you can take the t-rex what were his arms and stuff but like guns stick them into the hole on the front here on each side so it kind of is like a gun <clears throat> i think that's maybe what i'll do but you can also um, take it flip the wing over and then this hole here in the back stick the um, how it attached to the T-Rex in there. I, could, I think I got it backwards. It's kind of weird though. If you do it on the front, it's the reverse. And then if you put it on the back here, you have to like switch the arm things around. And so then it's kind of like that on the back. Which it would be more out of the way there. So I may just actually do that instead. Then try and fight with it the other way. Even though I don't like this because it's like the back version there. I don't like it showing that way. So then just stand it back up and then on the back here he's got these two slots, one there and there and you'll just put these into it. It's kind of hard with the um, saber tooth legs there, it kind of makes it a little difficult. And see the saber tooth also came loose as I mentioned earlier, like that. And so you'll put that one in, kind of looks really weird from the back. And then put the other wing in. And then now you have the Zord. Again, it's hard to see the full thing. But there's it completed with the saber tooth falling off. So I'll just stand this up for now, even though I know you can't see it very well. So it's kind of wobbly with the legs. Like the legs aren't perfect and stuff. Um, but then you can take this t um, pterodactyl part and stick it in the hand. To become a sword you can also take the t-rex tail and put it in the hand to become like a sword weapon we'll go ahead and take that out and then you can also it's talking again 
take the weapons and stick them in the sides of the hands because that's these holes here stop making noise but you can then put these in the arms as well so it's like got more guns on it and everything and then of course there's also a thing gosh everything's just falling apart on there I'll just leave it off that leg will just stay off um, you can also take this and supposedly like put it in the hand like one of the hands but I don't it does it's so small it doesn't look right and then so I was like maybe it's supposed to be like in the original Zord it had a part of the like uh, Mastodon's head as like a shield so I was like maybe since it's part of Mastodon it's supposed to be like the shield but it's so small it doesn't work for anything so I just used the pterodactyl sword thing and stuff and so that's all there is for building the Zord um, of course I can quickly show you how to put it back together but it's super hard to see all in one thing but it's so tall it's definitely the biggest sword that there is and see it's just completely off the camera and it's only up to um, the saber tooth part and you still have the t-rex and all that stuff up above the torso body or whatever the upper chest and everything so now we'll just go ahead and take it apart and uh, rebuild back together so first off of course we'll pop the wings off again pop both. whoops and the t-rex already is falling apart so that's kind of showing that up for me again as i said that doesn't hold very well so if you just uh display it it'll be fine but if you do anything else with it, it well if you try and play with it it'll just fall apart so so of course we'll take the T-Rex arms off since we don't need those. Take the pterodactyl out of the body, or out of the hand, and then just pop its wings back on like this. And of course we can open it and throw the Pink Ranger back inside. So that's all there is for the Pink Ranger. So now she's over there. Next we'll go with the saber tooth. So again, you just slide the, the legs out. And so there's that. So you just fold the head up again and then close the legs, which they don't pop in anything. They just open back and forth. See that? We can go ahead and open the back and stick the Pink Ranger inside. So I'll sit her and stick her in there. And then take the gun off the body and stick it back on top and now there's the saber okay now we'll go with the triceratops so with this you'll take the legs off the top um, take the head off fold the tail down fold these legs back down close this up take this chest plate stick it on the bottom here so it becomes the bottom of the triceratops we'll put the legs on so you just need to find which way they're going and then stick them on the proper side like that and then just take the head stick it right on the front and there you have the triceratops and again you can open the front stick Billy inside Mm. Okay, next up we have the Mastodon. So again, take the legs off, which they already fell off. So we don't have to worry about that. Take that chest, or the front, I call it chest plate because it's chest on the Mastodon. But on, it's like the front leg guard type thing. Pop the catapult off. Take the head off. Fold this leg down inside. Fold the legs forward. Or I guess they go like this. I always fold them the wrong way on this one for some reason. So you got that. Put the chest plate on the bottom of it. Again, the legs going in the proper direction to the according side. Like that. Take the head and stick it on the front. 
and then of course take the catapult and stick it onto the back and there's these three things that kind of correlate to the back here and you just stick that on the back if I can get it on come on there we go so there's that and then of course you have the like spider web thing that goes on the front then we can open up the cockpit and put Zach inside He's like an elephant. And then finally we have the T-Rex Zord. So we'll go ahead and take the gun off and hopefully not set it off again. Take the head off. Pop the arms out, which again, this one's the one that's too hard. Maybe I've loosened it up by now. Nope. Maybe I have to cut it. Maybe. Oh, there we go. As I almost break it. But I don't know if you can see, but yeah, down in here it's like starting to whiten and everything. So I'm afraid I'm going to break it off. So I probably won't be doing this much more and then you just take of course the t-rex head off the back of the chest to put on its proper spot so to start off we'll just take the um what was the zord head and stick it down it's hard to see with lighting but there's a little peg down in there that it slides on you just got to get it to line up and it sits in there so now we have this and we can go ahead and put the legs back on so you just see them looking like this you just completely reverse them like that and then of course putting on the correlating sides and they go on like the back holes here and again this leg is super unfriendly again we'll do it with this one fold it all the way forward put it on the back there like that then we can take the tail and again with this interior piece it just slides in back here and you can tell it goes this one because it has this little like hook or black like circle thing that you know makes it so the zord can hold it and stuff it's got this hole in the back here that it slides down into so you just go like that and then of course you can take the head and pop it on the front like that take the little arms stick them in the sides here Like that so now we have the t-rex and then of course put the gun on top so it can shoot everything and then open up its head to put jason into the mouth so he can ride away and now we have them all complete so we'll just kind of bring them all back here pop them all up here course we got our little putty guy and then the little spider web and so that's going to be it for this um, review of the new um, Power Ranger movie zords that I think are really cool now to get these you have to at least as of right now you have to buy them individually so you have to buy the t-rex and I think it's like uh, 30 or 40 dollars maybe because it's the biggest and all that stuff and I guess the one most people would want so they make it the most expensive and then twenty dollars for the rest of them and for its size and I think it looks really cool like this Zord definitely makes me excited to see the movie to see how it goes um, now when they're all together doing that giant um, the Megazord I don't like the way it looks very much because it reminds me a lot of a transformer which is why I don't want these Zords looking like in the movies um, but it's I like them individually like this um, but I really like this Zord and again how big it is and everything for the price when you add it all together is about right especially for like the legacy Zords that they make now that are a lot more than what this costs and everything so I really like it and think it's definitely worth the money and stuff I assume eventually like closer to the movie they'll package them all together or you can just buy this giant Megazord as it is um, it's a lot shorter and stuff and doesn't you know come apart and everything but they have like it's a giant action figure type thing and it makes noise and comes with all the little rangers and everything so you can get that as well um, but I finally was able to get them all had to order them offline eventually because stores weren't carrying all of them and stuff so I had to buy them online so that's why I'm just now getting to doing this and um so that's going to be it. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below. Let me know if you've liked this Zord or think the movie's going to be good or anything. Um, and be sure to hit that subscribe button to check out all of the My Morty, My 
morphing collection videos of just all a bunch of zords and stuff that I've done reviews on and everything with a lot more to come and that will be it and please subscribe and we will see you next time.